This online broadcast has been slightly altered from the original to ensure that we meet the DMCA guidelines. Eagle Vision strives to make shows for our students with special elements and musical clips that we are not allowed to broadcast to the public. Several music and visual elements in the show you're about to view have been replaced. Thank you for supporting and watching EVTV. Welcome to Eagle Vision for Friday, February the 1st, 2019. I'm Kier, and today's top story highlights this weekend's big game. Here's Ashanti and Josh with Eagle Sports. Welcome to Eagle Vision Sports. I'm Ashanti here with Josh. Hello. So Josh, we do know, if many of you don't know, Sunday night is the Super Bowl at 6.30 Eastern Time, 5.30 Central Time. It is going to be the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. So Josh, something to point out is that ticket sales have plummeted hugely since this has been released or found out. Greatly. Why do you think this has happened? Uh, I feel I feel like I'm not just saying this because I'm not a Patriots fan. I mean, I got every res I got so much respect for Tom Brady. He's our Everyone know he's a he's a great football player. He's a great quarterback. He really is. But people are tired of seeing the same thing like they do in the finals. Yeah, so like at this point, do you even think that going to the Super Bowl means anything to the Patriots? Yeah. Um, I feel like Tom Brady blows it off as another game. Of course, he's going to come out there swinging like he does every game. But that's that's nothing new to him. And the, the rest of the Patriots team, Belichick, him and Brady is another day. The rest of the team, I feel like they're just right behind them, waiting for uh, Belichick or Brady to hand them a trophy and uh, go on to the next year because uh, he's playing another year, trust me. And then something to point out is that the Patriots have been to the Super Bowl 10 times and the Rams have only been three. So I'm pretty sure it'll mean a lot to the Rams. And that hasn't even been recently. Yeah, uh, the Rams, not recent at all, all in the 90s and 80s. Uh, Patriots otherwise, uh, their first five were during the 90s and 80s run, but their last couple five have been during our era. And um, Belichick is definitely looking for another one. And um, with having experience with five or more, or six or more Super Bowls, Belichick, um, I, I expect them to come in knowing what they're doing and how to execute the game. But I have, I have no doubt LA Rams are gonna give all give it their all and try to bring the Super Bowl home to the Los Angeles. Okay, so who do you think is going to win? Um, I'm hoping for the LA Rams. Everyone wants the underdog to win. True. Something else to point out is that halftime will be Maroon 5. Do you listen to Maroon 5? I, I mean, they're a good band. They're a good alternative band. Um, I feel like it's going to be a better halftime than uh, Britney Spears would have been. Um, no, no shade attended. Um, also, it is going to be streaming on CBS and um, 
Another thing we are expecting for this Super Bowl is funny commercials. I think a lot of people enjoy that. Yeah, a lot of people watch it for the commercials. For exactly. The commercials are huge. My mom watches it for the commercials. Yeah. So I think that's uh, another funny year of commercials too. And then moving into NBA sports, the All-Star Game will be February 17th at 7 o'clock p.m. It's going to be Team LeBron versus Team Giannis. Do you watch any basketball? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a very, very, very poor intellect on basketball. So, no, I have very small information about basketball, but I know, I know enough to get by. Okay, well, something to talk about is that the starters will be the typical starters. They have James Harden. Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving. They also have Kevin Durant. I don't like Kevin Durant, but Not they have ha- Kevin. No, <laughs> but they have him there. He's a good player. I'll give him that. Uh, what about Clay? I didn't see Clay. He's Clay. not a starter. Oh, wow, surprised. Uh-huh. That's it's surprising, but there's a lot of good players that have came out this season. Somebody to talk about is James Harden. He has been playing exceptional lately. I've been. I don't <clears> even <throat> watch basketball, and I heard about how bad he's been splurging. In the last 12 games, they've won. It's 11 to one. Yeah. So they've been on a winning streak. They've been. They've lost a lot. It's been a rough season, but lately they James have been giving have been, it together. He's, he's been getting it together. He's been as putting well. it together. So he's been getting huge plays. He earned his career high last Wednesday against the Knicks, 61 points. <laughs> And wow. that's impressive. That's that really is impressive. very impressive from one player too. The thing like that is from one player. And he's had many 50 plus point games recently just yeah. in recent games in the so. past what six games he's had at least probably three or four of them i've been i've just been scrolling down my timeline and just seeing a few little uh facts about james harden just going off um but right now in the nba we uh with with uh the league standings right now um uh, you got the bucks on top for the, the eastern conference and mm-hmm. for you know always the same over there in the western conference you got the warriors and um do you, like the, right, do you like the Warriors? I mean, I'm, I'm again, just like people are tired of seeing Brady. Because everyone, I don't know, unless you're a Brady fan, you're tired of seeing Brady. And um, re- really, just like the Brady thing, I'm tired of seeing the Warriors. We're tired yeah. of seeing Cleveland. We're tired of seeing, I mean, we, we Well, want, Cleveland's not making it this yeah, season. <laughs> of course, but um, we want we want some new excitement to be excited about. Man. Yeah. Then... So, I mean, I'm ready for a new year of um, basketball and a new year. Uh, I mean, hopefully Patriots can take an L and we can get some different excitements. Okay. Well, be sure to check out the Super Bowl Sunday night and the All-Star Game February 17th. Thank you for watching. That will tie up Eagle Vision Sports. It's now time for today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Matthew Kahn, Dominic Lifwich, Derek Morganfield, Jamila Richmond, Jabari Williams, Lazarus Williams, and Matthew Williams. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! It's now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, we're moving fast. Meta Club will meet in the multi purpose room at 7 a.m. on the first and third of Fridays each month. Students, prom guest request forms are now available. Forms can be picked up at the Council's Complex. Completed forms are due back to Miss Land by 2.45 Wednesday, March 6. No late forms will be accepted. Eagle Vision cast applications are now available. If you've been wondering how you could join the EVTV cast, now is your chance. Check out our website, www.hornlaketv.com. Print out the application, fill it out, and turn into Mr. Lewis in room E4 by February 14th at 3 p.m. Spirit Club sign-up sheets for the upcoming games are outside E16. Stop by anytime. See Ms. Gage or B. Croft for any questions. Sophomores, the sign-up sheets for the ACT are on the counselor's table in the comments. This is a free administration opportunity during school hours. However, you must sign up. The ACT is a requirement if you plan on taking dual credit classes your junior year. The deadline for signing up is February the 8th. We have lots of video content you don't get to see here on the show. Head to hornlakehigh.com and click on the subscribe link to get full access to our YouTube library. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake, where better students always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.